everyone welcome back to my channel it is your girl sana from so crafty sana and i am back with my payday budget for october the 6th 2023 if you want to see how i budget my paychecks using my payday budget book please stay tuned okay so i'm back thank you all for tuning into my channel if you are new to my channel my name is sanai and i am the content creator for so crafty sanai let me fix my camera because i don't understand what's going on um i am the content creator and i am the person behind the brand of so crafty sanai so i created a payday budget book um if you are familiar with me um i created a payday budget book i have cash um, wallets cash envelope wallets i am the person behind the sks zippy wallet collection which we have the mini zippy the zippy and the zippy xl i have a slew of cash envelopes binders planners planner inserts a stationary post-its transparent stick you name it i got it y'all so i just had to put that out there for those who don't know me you need to get to know me so um the other thing that we're gonna do is make sure that my camera is right okay so i am setting up my payday budget for october the 6th 2023 i am a weekly budgeter i am not a zero based budgeter i am not a 50 30 20 80 70 10 i am a budget however my money tells me to budget for that pay period budgeter i am a budget your way budgeter okay so my way of budgeting is this I do not um, expose my numbers. I am not transparent with my income for the simple fact that you don't need to know my income in order to understand how I budget my money. However, I will show you the amount that I am budgeting for this total pay period, which is not my total income, okay? I take what I need from my income and budget that money and I do leave the rest of the money in the bank. It is not about trust the bank. It is about I don't trust having that money in the house. You feel me so it is a difference um so and i have different investment tools that i do utilize but this is how i do so let's get started um and i use these to you know as page markers to number one it just keeps me on the page that i'm going to go to most frequently during the budget month so i put that there um so on my payday budget worksheet you see that you will have two two um categories at the top and i'll turn this page so you can see um and this is to capture any rollover money that you may have i always write the saturday before my pay period so i get paid on october the 6th on october the 1st was the saturday before and the reason why i do the saturday before because i budget every friday so on 9 30 i did receive a paycheck and i budgeted that money okay so the day after which starts a new budget that saturday starts a new budget week for me um and so i put the amount that's captured in my account which is my rollovers for my cash and hsa and then my cash envelopes and then it has a total underneath so you can see it has a total it has a a space here so you can total those amounts that's what i use you can use these two spots for whatever any type of rollover money any type of money you're pulling in from your sinking funds that you're going to add into your weekly income so here under the income section here is where i capture the income coming in for this particular pay period so i have my main income there my side income which is so crafty sana any other income I may have received for different reasons, whether it's from my daughter's father, um, if I sold something um, around the house or, and then I list my bill account. Now my bill account is not considered income. I am currently one month ahead on bills. So what I do is I put this amount here under each pay period and then I list all the bills that's gonna come from that amount. So I budgeted on October the 1st that $1,104.43 is going to be paid from that amount. Once I pay these bills, then that money will come, whatever this total is, will come out of this amount. I'll put the bills here. I highlight that in pink to signify that it comes from this amount. It does not come from my income. It does not come from main side or other because I'm one month ahead. Okay. So, and I'm going to explain to you as I go along how I do that, okay? So, um, for this pay period, 
the money I'm going to budget is $4,500.48, okay? So I am going to put the amount that I am budgeting for this week, $4,500.48, okay? Remember, bills does not come out of this amount. Bills is going to come out of um, the bill account, which is already signified now. What I'm going to do because I'm one month ahead is I need to take money out of here to put towards November's bills. Okay, so I'm going to come down here to savings because $50 is going to come out. It's automatically drafted and that's going to go into another account. Okay, then I am going to come and take, let's say, I think for my bill account, I want to put, so I'm going to put bill account here under the savings category because this is how I replenish the account for next month. And I'm going to put $2,000. Okay, so that's $2,050 that gets listed under savings and $2,000 of that is going to go to my bill account. $50 is going to a savings, okay? Okay, so I have $4,500.48 minus $2,050 equals so. I have $2,450 that's going to go into my bill account slash savings. Now, I want to do my cash envelopes, okay? So, I explained in a video, I did a reel and I, someone, um, one of my budget buddies asked, should you be budgeting for um, cash envelopes and sinking funds? And I particularly wasn't doing that at first. I would just take and do... Whatever money I have left over from bills and savings and debt payments, let's say this $2,450 was left over. I would just go through and just give envelopes money. I wouldn't have a set amount. I'd be like, mm, let me get this one more money. Let me get this one more money. And if I had a balance left over, I would go back and give more money to my envelopes. I don't want to do that now. What I'm going to do is now I know there are certain sinking funds and cash envelopes that I want to give a certain amount to. So, for instance, I know that during the month of October, I only want to budget $300 for me money. So, because I am paid weekly, now I'm going to give $75 to my me money. I know that dining out, I want to give $160. So, for this pay period, I am only going to give dining out $40, okay? Car maintenance is budgeted at $40. I usually do $10 a week, so I'm going to give $10 here. Gas is I want to contribute. I'm budgeting to spend 160 in gas this month. Gas is a sinking fund, so I keep a balance. So I am going to give gas $35 out of this pay period. I am budgeting for $800 for the month of food. So that's 200 a week. I am going to give food 200 for this pay period. Household items, I'm budgeting for $80 for the month to spend on household items. So I am going to give 25 out of this pay period. Miscellaneous, I am budgeting for 60, so I am going to give $10 this pay period. And for the month for Sadaka, which means charity giving, I am going to do $40, so I'm going to do $10, okay? So that's how much I am going to allot for this pay period into my wallet cash variable spending. Now for my sinking funds. These sinking funds to me, it's what's a priority. So I want to make sure that I contribute a certain amount to these envelopes, and then if I have extra money, I'll just divvy it up to my other envelopes. But Particularly for the month of October, I want to give $250 to my self-care, selfie envelope, selfie sana. So I am going to give $50 to this envelope, okay? And for luxury, I want to budget for $40 for the month. So I am going to jumpstart that and I am going to put $25 in luxury. Planner stuff, I am not going to contribute anything to. Payback, I am not giving anything to. Retirement and dry cleaning, Okay. So now to my, I am budgeting to give $50, $100 for the month for home maintenance. I am going to give $50 for home maintenance. House cash, um, I didn't put a budget for house cash, but I do want to give house cash $15. And house cash is any purpose, all purpose, no purpose money. Um, a goal is to have $250 and we can use that for whatever. I don't care what it is. That money is just house money. $250. When I reach $250, I'll stop contributing to that envelope. So house clean, um, and I did not budget for house clean. However, 
because I do have money to divvy up. I want to give that envelope something, my sinking fund. So house clean is going to get $10. Okay. Now household, I did set a budget for household. Household is a sinking fund separate from my wallet um, because I like to build this up. So $100 I'm budgeting for the month. So for household, I'm going to get $20. Okay. And let's see. So I did, okay. And I'm not contributing to um, car maintenance uh, from this pay period. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, and let me put, I want to give something to buffer. I'm sorry. That's not on there. Okay, so I'm not going to contribute to car maintenance, medical savings, or subscriptions um, in this binder. So the next thing I want to contribute money to is dress game. This is the kids' clothes. So I am budgeting to put $200 this month into their envelope. So I am just going to give $25 for this pay period. Okay, and let's see. I don't have debt payoff on here, but I should. So, but for debt payoff, I do want to put $100 in debt payoff and buffer. Buffer, I, I budgeted to put $120. So I am going to put $20 in buffer. Okay, so let's see. And that's what I budgeted based on including these in my monthly bill tracker budget. Okay, so let's see. So that is 75 plus 40 plus 10 plus 35 plus 200 plus... 25 plus 20 plus 50 plus 25 plus 50 plus 15 plus 30 plus 25 plus 100 plus 20 equals 720 dollars okay so 720 dollars is going in to 720 dollars is going to be divvied up into my envelope so what I usually do is I like to separate. So 75 plus 40 plus 10 plus 35 plus 200 plus 25 plus 20 equals. So that's $405 I'm putting into my wallet. Okay. That's $75 that's going into my self-care binder. So that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that's $95 going into my Pru binder. And then these envelopes here, that is 145. So I'm just going to put that there. And when I total that up, I want to make sure I get the same amount. 75 plus 95 plus 145 equals 720. So then I write 720 here in red. Okay. So now I'm going to write my cash breakdown. So I'm going to do three, one, and one. Then I'm going to do two here. I'm going to do a 10 a 20, a 10, and a five. I'm going to do four 50s, a 20, and a five. And I'm gonna do two fives for, um, I'm gonna do two fives for Sadika. So I'm gonna do a, wait, a 10 for miscellaneous and two fives for Sadika. I'm gonna do a 50, a 20, and a five. And then I'm going to do, oh, a 50. And then 15, a 10, a 20. I'm going to come down to here and do a 20 and a 5. I am going to do two 50s, a 20, and that's it. So that is five, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight 50s, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That is 11 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six 10s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is, I should have eight. I'm missing something. Should I not have eight? I think I should. Am I missing something? Five, 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 two fives. It's, oh, the five here. I erased it. Okay. And that should be eight. Okay. So then I'm going to write the amount. Eight times five is 40. 6 times 10 is 60, 11 times 20 is 220, and 50 times 8 is 400. So those amounts there, and this is three different ways to make sure your money is right. 400 plus 220 plus 60 plus 40 equals 720, okay? So I checked it here, I checked it here, and I checked it here. 720 is good. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to take and put 720 on my envelopes. Oops, I wrote that wrong. 
Okay, so that's $720 that's gonna go to my envelopes. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see what I have left. So 4,500.48 minus 720 gives me $3,780.48. Now I'm gonna minus out, oops, the 250, and that gives me $1,730.48. So now I'm gonna make a debt payment, okay? I am going to put $1,500 into debt. So I am going to make a debt payment of $1,500. And then I'm going to put 1500 here. Okay. And so I am going to minus 1500 equals. So that is going to leave me a leftover balance of $230.48. And I'm going to let that roll into my um, checking account. So now when I go here, this date is going to start with 10 7. So. After I paid all of my bills, I'm sorry, after I pay all the bills, I take these amounts out, pay this debt payment. This amount is gonna go into that balance. Whatever the balance is, is gonna be the balance I'm bringing in for 10-7. So I'm gonna write cash and HSA, and then I'm gonna write cash envelopes here. I'm gonna capture these two amounts, put the total, and then my income side other and then i am going to put um bill account and i am going to capture my bill account balance after all bills are paid i'm going to put that balance here okay so that is how i set up a weekly budget um now i'm going to stuff this money so if you want to see how i stuff that please stay tuned for my next video bye